everyone, it's Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South. To all of my subscribers, welcome back. I'm glad you decided to join me again. To anyone that's new here, welcome to my channel. If you guys would like to see how I made this sign, please stay tuned. So this is the sign that's inspiration for the sign that we're making. And as you can see, it's the definition of boy. And then over here on the side, you can see that the cheapest one that they have is from $40.50 on up. And this is actually on the Etsy shop. This particular um, um, Etsy shop owner is Crab Apple Design Co. And when you click down here on the size, you see that an eight, by 16 is forty dollars and fifty cent. A ten by twenty is fifty four dollars. Twelve by twenty four is sixty three dollars. Fourteen by twenty eight is eighty one dollars. Sixteen by thirty two is one hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cent. And then a eighteen by thirty six is one hundred and twenty six dollars. And that's the largest size. The measurement of the um, sign that we did is a 41 by 29 so you notice it's not even on the price range but when you look at the price range every four inches is pretty much going up like another uh 13 14 dollars so i'll just estimate and say that we would spend about 160 dollars plus tax with the dimensions that we're doing And this is the SVG download that I purchased. It's also uh, sold by Crab Apple Design SVG, and it is two dollars and seventy-one cent. And once you, and I already did this, but once you pay for it, you add it to the cart and you check out, it's immediately ready for download. And then what you do is download it, download it to your computer, and then you're gonna have to extract the zipped the zip folder file and then from there you'll upload that to Cricut Design Space so that you can start sizing the image to fit whatever sign you're going to create. And then we've already prepped the material. So what we did for this sign, we were trying to go ahead on and use up the wood that we had before getting any more cut. This is the last sheet of the MDF that we had cut from when we did the original chalkboard sign. And since then we've done about four or five other signs on that same MDF board. Uh, this is also the last of the trim that we had. And what we had to do, because we were running low on trim, we used one by fours for the top and the bottom. And then for the sides, we use one by twos. But once I stain it and get everything done, it's pretty much going to look good so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead on and get ready to paint the mdf board and then stain the trimming and you guys know i like to save money this is just some color place paint that i had left over in the garage in the color white and this is what i'm going to use to paint my mdf board to be yours
Okay, so this sign was pretty difficult to make. Those of you that use a Cricut know that the mats are only 12 inches by 12 inches. Any design that's larger than that, you have to go in and learn how to slice the image into pieces where that you break it up and print it print the vinyl out on several different mats for this size dimensions it i had to use six different mats to print the entire sign out and it printed it in pieces and then you have to go back and piece all the letters together so as you are watching me make this sign you'll notice that all of the letters are in pieces and that's because that's the only way to make a large sign at the dimensions that i needed for this one it was also pretty difficult to put them back together so before i started filming i had already sliced my vinyl into pieces and i went back and weeded all the excess vinyl off already and so after that i just had to use transfer tape to pick up the letter pieces off of the vinyl sheet and then i had to lay them out on the board and press it down so that the vinyl could stay attached to my sign now the letters in boy were much easier than the actual definition part and the reason for that being is because they were in a longer line so i ended up using like a um a yardstick as you're gonna see shortly to help me keep the sentences and the letters lined up with the same amount of space in between each sentence can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I've failed So can we work it out? Only time will tell Why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? But I know all your flaws, at least they say something Still I try to connect with you through your eyes Your eyes What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line But no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond us Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and i failed So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell I still want I love you And I know all your colors and I guess cause of that I can think of no others Yeah, I need you to breathe without you, I'm lost I'm lost, yeah What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line But no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond us Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you
riding on my way Finally woke up with some luck in the buck I don't give a up so what someone say Finally got my friends in the back of my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moon Stay in the moon with me Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me If you like this content, please consider subscribing to my channel, Crafty Girl Down South. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.